Sun and Moon Resort in California. How may I help you? I made a reservation for a room online, and I'd like to confirm it. I see. Would you tell me the reservation number, please? I'm worried about my cat. She won't eat anything. Let me look into her mouth. Hmm. When was the last time she ate? Two days ago. The last thing she ate was fish. Good morning. I'm today's health reporter, Lisa Dawkins. Teenagers nowadays are less active than teenagers in the past. This can be problematic because proper exercise is very important for their physical development. Therefore, if you're a parent of a teenager, encourage your child to get enough exercise. Also, make sure your child consumes enough water before and after exercise. In addition, if your child is a little overweight, then encourage him or her to work out at least an hour every day and gradually intensify his or her exercise over time. For teenagers with health problems, it's important to consult a doctor to make the best exercise plan. Help your teenage child maintain his or her health through appropriate exercise. Thank you. Tejun, did you watch the TV program Animal Universe last night? Yes, I did. I was surprised to learn that most abandoned animals are unregistered pets. I was surprised too. Pets should be registered. Yeah, but it's unfortunate that many are not. I think there needs to be stricter regulation to prevent people from abandoning their pets. I agree with you. But I think the pet owner's willingness to obey the law is more important. That makes sense. But if people don't know about the law, it cannot be effective. Definitely. Maybe starting a campaign against abandoning pets can be helpful too. Good point. Such campaigns can make people take more responsibility for their pets. Yeah. It's important to emphasize the value of all animal life. Hey, Eva, what's wrong? My left shoulder has been hurting these past few days. Hmm. Do you think it's because you bumped into the other team's player in the basketball game on Monday? I think so. Then I think you should lay off any upper body activity for a few days. But I need to practice for our next game. Yeah, but practicing passing and shooting can worsen the problem. What should I do then? Well, just focus on biking or running for your endurance and flexibility. Okay, I see. Also, do stretching every day for about 30 minutes. All right, I'll do that. Then maybe sometime next week you can start normal practice and hopefully get back to playing games in two weeks. Yeah, that'd be great. Michelle, can I take a look at the cover you designed for the school booklet? Sure, Mr. Collins. Here it is. Um, I like your slogan in the center of the top of the page because it matches our school name. Thanks. Do you like the girl holding a book? Yes. You made her look studious. I'm glad to hear that. But I think it would be better if you reduce the size of the school name in the center of the bottom of the page. All right. I'll make it a little smaller. Good. I also added the stars in the center to make it more eye-catching. I like that, too. Do you think I should change the boy bouncing a basketball? No, just leave it. He looks energetic. Okay. 
I'll revise the cover and show you the new version tomorrow. Thank you, Michelle. Honey, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the cookbook. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. What are you going to cook today? I want to cook seafood pasta. I was inspired by a cooking show on TV last night, but I don't remember the recipe. Why don't you search online for the recipe? I'm sure some people have posted it on their blogs. Oh, good idea. I'll do that. Sounds great. And let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Thanks, Brian. Actually, after I get the recipe, would you be able to go to the grocery store and buy some ingredients for me? Sure. Just let me know what to buy. I'll get ready. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I'm looking forward to your delicious seafood pasta. Mom, do we have milk in the refrigerator? Yes, we do. Why? I just want to drink a cup of warm milk. But I think it's too late to drink milk. You may get a stomach ache if you drink milk just before bedtime. Well, I think it'll help me fall asleep. Are you having trouble falling asleep? Yes, my presentation in French class is tomorrow morning. Yes, I know. And I've been preparing for it for a long time. So, are you worried about it? Yes, I can't stop imagining myself making a mistake in front of all my classmates. I understand, Minsu, but don't worry about not being perfect. Just think of it as telling a funny story to your classmates. Hmm, I see. I'll try. Okay. Good night, Minsu. Are you ready to order, ma'am? Yes, I'd like eight cream-filled donuts and ten chocolate chip cookies. All right, that'll be seventeen dollars. Would you like anything else? Yeah, I'd also like an iced coffee and two strawberry juices without ice. Okay, will that be for here or to go? To go, please. Then you can get a ten percent discount on the beverages. That makes the drinks nine dollars altogether. Great. And you can get an additional five percent discount, or add it to your points if you have a membership card. Do you have one? Yes. Please add it to my points this time. Here's my credit card and my membership card. All right. Sign here, please. Honey, what are you doing on the computer? I'm shopping for a new microwave online. Really? Is there any advantage in buying things online? Yeah, generally prices are lower online because online shops cost much less to run. I see. So you can save money. Exactly. Also, shopping online saves time because you don't need to visit an actual store. That's a huge advantage. Definitely, and online shoppers post product reviews, which provide useful information about the products. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds helpful. But online, you can't touch or try on the items. You're right, but you can get detailed information about them, like size, materials, performance. And also about manufacturers and sellers. Wow, it sounds like online shopping is very reliable and convenient. Hello, I'm Ms. Kelly, your history teacher, and this is an announcement about the field trip to the National Museum tomorrow. We're going to meet at nine o'clock in the morning in front of the main gate of our school. Please don't be late. 
If you're late, you may miss the bus. Also, bring your own lunch because the restaurant in the museum isn't big enough for all of us. In addition, your admission fee will be paid by our school. And one more thing to remember is that everyone will have to submit a report after the field trip. The report form is available on our school website. Keep these things in mind, and I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Barclays Hotel, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to reserve a banquet hall for our company anniversary party. All right. How many guests do you expect? I think more than 100 guests will attend. Okay, sir. How about food? We provide Korean food and Western food. I think Korean food would be better for us. I see. Then there are two banquet halls that meet your requirements. Any difference between the two? Yes. The one with the smaller capacity is $60 per person, and the larger one is $10 cheaper per person. Well, I cannot help considering the company's budget. I'll go for the cheaper one. All right. I'll send you a reservation form by fax. Thank you. My fax number is 537-2131. Sumi, did you hear about the tour to the historic sites this weekend? No. What happened? The destination has been changed from Gyeongju to Jeonju because of an accommodation problem. Oh, you must be happy since you already went to Gyeongju last year with your family, right? Yes. I've always wanted to visit Jeonju. This tour will be great for our history club members. Kevin... Actually, I'm not going to join the tour this time. Why is that? My mom is in the hospital, recovering from the knee surgery. Really? I didn't know that. I want to take care of her over the weekend. I see. You're a good daughter, Sumi. Hi, Brian. Have you finished your sociology assignment? No. I've been thinking about it all day long, but I don't know where to begin. You'd better hurry up. There are only three days left until the due date. I know, but I can't decide on a good topic. Then here, take a look at my report. It's not complete, though. Hmm. Interesting. Your topic is the relationship between locations and house styles. Yes. I wanted to display the relationship in a graph. Wow. This looks awesome. You must have put a lot of effort in it. Yes, I did. But the first thing to do, I think, is to select a good topic. For sure. Then what? Then, collect as much data related to your topic as possible. Mike majors in architecture at college. Last month, he participated in a building design contest for college students. It was his first experience to design a tall building by himself. He tried his best to design a beautiful and strong structure. He did a lot of research on well-designed buildings all over the world and created an excellent design. He's just got a phone call from Mr. Henry, the man in charge of the contest. He tells Mike over the phone that he is going to be given the Best Architectural Design Award. Mike is so happy that he can hardly believe it. In this situation, what would Mike most likely say to Mr. Henry?
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jody Brown from Wise Economy Life. There are many ways to become financially wealthy. An important one is to save money. Here are some practical tips to help you save money in your daily life. First, rather than taking a taxi to work, wake up earlier and take the subway or bus. Second, when you're in a department store, take elevators instead of escalators. Escalators lead you to buy more things because you stop by every floor in the department store. Third, make the most of online shopping. By shopping online, you can compare prices and find the best deals. Finally, rather than buying drinks here and there, leave home with a bottle of water. Those beverages add up to a lot of money. If becoming wealthy is one of your goals, give at least a little attention to these tips. I'm sure your life will change a lot. Thank you for listening.